Well, the hunt is on for the guy who bit off my next guest's finger. Authorities are trying to get their hands on the guy in that black shirt. It all happened last night at a pro health care reform rally put on by MoveOn.org. Bill Rice was there protesting government run care. He joins me right now. Uh, and and uh, first of all, um, how are you doing right now? How are you feeling? Uh, thanks for asking, Neil. I'm fine. Okay. Um, what happened? Tell me what happened. Uh, I uh, went out to a local event in uh, my community uh, where I was uh, confronted by somewhat of a deranged individual and a scuffle ensued and uh, he ate my finger in the process. Well, wait a minute. I mean, how did the scuffle ensue? This is the guy we think could have been the guy who ensued said scuffle, but reports are from witnesses that you threw a punch at him or what happened really, Bill? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I did. He uh, came at me uh, calling me an idiot and uh, whenever he got close within my range, uh, I threw a punch. Okay, so you threw a punch. Did the punch land? Yes. yes. So then what happened next? Then I threw a second punch and my fist ended up in his mouth. And then he bit your pinky off, right? He bit my pinky finger off. Now, did they try to reattach the pinky? Uh, no, sir. Uh, they said because of the human, the bacteria involved in a human bite, that the chances of it surviving a reattachment were almost zero. So, what's weird about this bill is a guy who was advocating for the president's health care reform bit your freaking finger off, and and now you're uh, down it, a finger. Exactly. Now you're down a finger. What are you going to do? Yes, sir. I guess I'll uh, have to take different piano lessons or something, uh, Neil. I'm not sure. Bill, man, you're a much better sport than I would be. Now, are authorities looking for this guy, or do you want do you want to sue this guy? What? what? No, sir, I don't wish to sue anybody. I'm not a litigious person, but the authorities are looking for him. Okay, uh, uh, Pam, uh, if we can go back to the, this is the, the, the shot we think of the guy. I don't know if you can see anything from where you are. Uh, Bill, but is this the, the, the guy who accosted you? Well, it, it appears to be, uh, Neil. Uh, it certainly was someone that was dressed uh, that looked like that, yes. Okay, so you're with a relatively small group there uh, protesting health care reform. This guy was saying um, health care reform is the way to go. Didn't at all agree with you. Um, and then he, after biting your finger off, up and ran away. You, what did you do with your pinky? Uh, I left it at the hospital. Uh, I thought about maybe bringing it home and having it bronzed and wearing it around my neck, but that was I probably a good idea not, not to pursue. Um, Bill, uh, <laughs> you, you, you gave an appendage in, in the cause of, 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 of protesting health care reform. So you've overnight become a bit of a, a cult hero in this community. How do you feel about that? Well, uh, thank you, Neil, but I'm no hero. The, the heroes are in Afghanistan and Iraq right now. God bless you. Bill, let me ask you, um, your family, friends, what do they think of what happened to you? Uh, they're pretty upset. They're pretty upset. What have they advised you to do? Well, they're, uh, they haven't been able to find forgiveness in their hearts yet, Neil, but uh, I'm hoping that they will soon. So, Bill, let's say you run into this guy again. You just, just bump into him. What would you say? What would you do? Uh, Neil, I have nothing to say. In fact, I think the smart thing for me to do would be to turn around and run. Now, I'm already trying to think if this guy had a legal defense, not that you're suing or even interested in it, which says a lot about you, Bill. Um, he might claim I accidentally bit his finger off. I didn't intend to. Do you think he intended uh -huh. to? Uh, Neil, I, I can't look into the man's heart or into his mind. Uh, my finger was in his mouth and... Uh, 
when it, when it came out, I didn't have a finger is all I know. Bill, you know how this has been framed. You know, the, uh, the town hall protesters or those against health care reform. You've heard the AstroTurf comments. You've heard that you've been put up to this. You've heard that you're a manufactured, you know, protest group. You don't seem like a manufactured or protest or anyone could put you up to something you don't want to do, Bill. And I don't know you that well, but everything I've been reading about you and, and even your answers to me that you're not looking for compensation or a suit or anything of the sort. Um, what do you think of people who frame health care protesters this way? Neil, I, I, in my heart, I don't think that this has anything to do with health care. Uh, I think that this is uh, something uh, much more devious than, than health care. I think health care is how uh, we are being diverted uh, while the government grabs what's left of our freedom uh, away from us. So you think health care is, is what? This push for reform is what, a Trojan horse for bigger? issues or, or what? Yes, sir. I, I think it's nothing more than a diversion. I think it's what uh, they have us arguing about uh, while they do something else. How are you doing right now? Are you in any pain? Uh, I'm uh, medicated right now, thank you. And uh, uh, the doctor says the pain will subside uh, within a day or so. Man, oh man. Bill, if you had to do it all over again and show up outside as you did yesterday, knowing that there was a distinct possibility some crazy dude would try to bite your finger off, would you still do it? Yes, sir. Uh, freedom is not free. Bill Rice, amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Neil. All right, if you have any information on this guy who bit off Bill's finger, the Ventura County Sheriff's Department is asking to call 805-494-8201. I'm going to find you.